Hello and welcome to the next episode 2 which is just released for The Walking Dead. Um, we're going to carry on. So everything we did in the previous episode is going to carry on. So we saved the woman instead of the guy who got eaten by zombies. And we saved the kid in the farm up instead of the guy who saved us initially. And yeah, it's going to start. All that's going to be taken into effect when we're playing episode 2. Which we're going to do now. So I think episode 1 it was called A New Day. Then we have episode 2 which is called Starve for Help and I guess I just couldn't play. So this is it. New episode. Starve for Help. Looking from the previous sort of outro video there was supposed to be bandits and whatnot. But that might be, that might come in a later episodes. So we're going to see what this episode has in store for us. Of course the zombies eat. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. Okay, this is just going through past events that happen. I wonder if it shows by yourself the this. decisions yeah, I that want my parents be made. To home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's oh, done. I made. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. And it was Carly you saved, not Doug. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. That guy was the right knee guard. Yeah, it didn't take into effect what we did. Oh my god. So. And I don't yeah. give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. He's a right ass. He punched me. For those of you who didn't watch the previous episode, he punched me in the face and left me to die. Okay, yeah. So the story's tailored how you play. Fair enough. Three months later, okay. Uh, do we just kill him? Pretty much. That looks Damn. like we got a new what they get this time. Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh, well, I don't think it might as much. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. That he has. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? 
knock me flat. <laughs> I remember that. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Another one bites the dust. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Ouch. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Ah, uh, that's cool. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see what the hell I have oh, to God, do. There's a bit luck going on. Things over. Something. We don't know. <laughs> it's impossible. It locks or something. Hurry! Please, chain. Get me out of this. You have to it's get him not out. Not gonna you open. Have to. Let's go. Let's go. Just hurry. He's lost so much blood already. Please hurry up. Chop chain. Be now. Please save him! Come on! Try something! Oh Jesus, those things are gonna be here soon! <laughs> Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg! Oh god, oh god, oh god. there's gotta be Forget another it. way! We use chain like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not cutting through that. There's gotta be something we can do! I want chop his leg, I want my leg! I don't know, I don't want to chop his leg! Lee, I can't keep Please. him back forever. You can't just leave him like this. Stop, stop, stop. Jesus, he's just waiting to walk. Now. We gotta go. Oh, God, there's so many other. Oh, fuck is it. He, is he gonna make it? Please, please, please. Oh, just get this me is bad. Oh, really bad. Just get me out, please. All that blood and screaming. Please hurry. We're gonna be surrounded any minute. Come on, get it off. Come on, do something. I don't know, I don't want to chop his leg off, Jesus! Why is this happening to us? Oh, there has to be a way out of this! Fuck! Please! Get me this out of bad. this! This is so bad. bad. Get him out of this! Okay! Come on! We gotta go! Now! Aw, oh, crap! No! Uh, no, don't leave me! Damn it, Lee! Uh, I'm sorry. No! We can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Give it God to me! Damn it, let Travis! Go. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Shit! What happened? It was an accident! Oh, God. The kid and keep moving. 
Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Oh, I feel sorry for that guy. I should just chopped his leg off. God damn it. My fist. I tried to help him, but it didn't work. <sighs> That's gonna suck. Oh, see, they're still at the motel. Open. We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, oh, God. What's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, your mouth. I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. He's an awesome. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? That's what I'm gonna do is get punched by that guy again. Fall to the floor. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Ah, sucks. Uh, so what happened to that kid? No one's helping him. He's just bleeding or he's dead. 
Oh, uh, wait. Now we have to give. Um, okay, I'm gonna go check to see how she's doing. <laughs> 